Natural Remedies channel gives you a quick summary of the biggest and most important news about healthy news on internet. In this we'll be revealing 4 Bad Food for Liver. The liver is an essential body organ that plays a vital role in the metabolic process of food and in the gastrointestinal procedure. Often the liver becomes fatty, a problem referred to as stetosis. This may result from chronic alcohol use or from a bad diet regimen high in fat and carbs. It could eventually lead to cirrhosis or long-term scarring of the liver. Poisonous exposure from the atmosphere or from chemicals taken in, as well as damages from infections such as liver disease together with a number of various other conditions, can also cause cirrhosis and eventually to liver failing. 4 Types of Food That Can Damage Your Liver 1. Alcohol Alcohol is a toxin in the body, and the liver is the primary organ responsible for filtering toxins out of the blood. Alcohol in particular is especially damaging to liver cells and is commonly associated with cirrhosis or scarring of the liver tissue. In addition, the liver's primary job is to process excess glucose, storing it in the liver and eventually as body fat when the liver is full of glycogen. Alcoholic beverages are typically very high in carbohydrates, making overconsumption a double whammy on the liver, a heavy load of toxins to filter along with a high spike in glucose to process. 2. Saturated and trans fats Overall dietary fat should, of course, be limited, but saturated fats and trans fats present a higher risk to the liver. Saturated fats come from animal products and have been shown to raise the bad cholesterol or low-density lipoproteins LDL. Fats from meats and dairy are saturated fats. Trans fats comes from oils that have been partially hydrogenated and not only raise LDL cholesterol, they actually lower the good cholesterol or high-density lipoproteins HDL. Trans fats are found in highly processed foods such as potato chips, donuts and cakes as well as candy. These damaging fats will quickly overload an already struggling liver. 3. Sucrose and high fructose corn syrup, cakes, candies, pastries and other sweets all contain both high levels of sucrose, table sugar, and high fructose corn syrup, a highly processed form of carbohydrate. These foods all have a high glycemic index, meaning they are all foods that raise blood sugars extremely high. The glycemic index refers to the rate at which blood sugar rises in relation to consumption of the food over a specific period of time. Foods with a high glycemic index trigger a rise in insulin to process the spike in glucose. That rise in insulin triggers the liver to begin storing the excess in liver cells, and, when the liver is full, it converts the excess to body fat for long-term storage. This often results in fatty liver or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. If left unmanaged, it can develop into non-alcoholic steatohepatitis and even cirrhosis. 4. Carbohydrates, beyond sugar such as sucrose and high fructose corn syrup, all carbohydrates have to the potential to overload the liver. Breads, pasta and other foods with white flour are often high in carbohydrates and low in fiber, making them a high glycemic food that will spike blood sugar levels. Without the natural fiber found in whole grains, the carbohydrate is processed all at once, where in whole grain foods, the fiber slows down the digestive process by binding with fats and other foods in the digestive tract. To avoid this, eliminate white bread, white flour pasta and other foods made with white flour as there is little to no fiber in this overprocessed flour. To get more storage solution videos like this, hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment below to let me know what you'd like to see next.